Hey there folks, it's Scott with Dallas Paint Correction and Dallas Paint Coatings. Tomorrow is November 12th. Today is November 11th. I'm making this video a little bit later than I wanted to. I've got some loyal buyers and people in my Facebook, my Facebook group, <laughs> say that right, in my Facebook group about a new coating I'm releasing called DPC Flashback. Before I talk about this new coating that I'm getting ready to release, I want to talk about how ceramic coatings work. I'm going to mention four, fun, uh, four components to all ceramic coatings that are really, really important. We have within a ceramic coating a bonding agent, we have resins within a coating, we have slickness enhancers, and we have gloss enhancers. I want to talk about when we load up our applicator, and we put some juicy goodness on here, right? and we get ready to put our ceramic coating on the vehicle. What's actually happening? One, we're applying it, right? What's happening at that moment, almost on contact when we're applying the coating? What's happening, we call this a flash time. With most ceramic coatings, let's say you're working at 70 degrees and the humidity is at 50%, this is absolute perfection. And we're working on a cool panel. We're going to apply the coating in the 2x2 two two area. We're going to apply it. We're going to wait for it to flash. Coatings can flash two different ways. They can flash with giving off a rainbow hue, or they can flash by microbeading or sweating or opening up. That's the way some people will explain that flash style for that type of coating. But let's say I put a ceramic coating on this applicator and I start working it on the paint. What's actually happening from a chemical point of view, a scientific point of view, what exactly is happening in that moment? The minute we start applying the ceramic coating with our applicator, the bonding agent within the coating is beginning to bond almost immediately on contact. That is the bonding agent that's found in all ceramic coatings. Bonding agents can come in all types of flavors and sizes and if you will, they can be really durable, they can be long-term, they can be short-term, but for this video, what's happening when we first start sliding the applicator is the bonding agent is attacking the paint and bonding to the paint. Now when we're done applying that coating in our 2x2 two two area, or however big you decided to go, or however small you decided to go, we're going to watch the coating flesh. It can give off a rainbow hue or it can micro -beat. What's actually happening in that moment when a coating is flashing? Because now something else is happening. Initially, the bonding agent is going to bond to the paint first. During that flash period, it's what we call resin load transfer. These are the resins that are required for the ceramic coating to make it incredibly hydrophobic. These are the resins that give us the water contact angle, the self-cleaning properties of the coating. They give us a nice slide contact angle, and basically the coating likes to evacuate water as fast as it can. This is the beautiful part of coatings. This is the part of the coating we love the most, is the hydrophobic nature. So during that flash moment, let's say I was applying a ceramic coating and we're at 70 degrees, 50% humidity, those coatings are going to flash somewhere between 1 to 3 minutes depending on the coating. During that flashing moment, there's what we call a ceramic load or I should say a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It is a uh, resin load transfer. The bonding agent is on the paint, now the resin load is going to start bonding to the bonding agent during that flash moment. The resins are beginning to bond to the paint, the slickness enhancers are beginning to bond to the paint, and so are the gloss enhancers. When it's flashed appropriately, we've given it the right amount of time, we're working in a perfect uh, environment, the paint is cool to the touch, we begin to buff off, and voila, we've added a ceramic coating to the paint. That's how it works. Let's say we're not working at 70 degrees and it's 50% humidity and we're using that coating that would traditionally flash around 1 to 3 minutes, but now it's 90 degrees in this garage. It's now 80% humidity. What's happening to our flash time? It's getting fast. It's getting incredibly fast. 
Some coatings you might have to get off the paint in that type of environment within 15, 20, 30 seconds. Why? Because the transfer solution, the carrier solvent that carries the bonding agent, that uh, resin load is evaporating at a very fast rate in that type of temperature and humidity, and we got to get it off the paint. We have no other choice. If we don't, we get high spots, it gets really streaky, it can be really, really difficult to buff off. The reason why I mention this is because when you sit with the chemist and you ask him, okay, in a perfect world, in a perfect environment, 70 degrees, 50% humidity, he's going to tell you that's the perfect environment to apply this coating, right? The bonding agent needs to bond to the paint sufficiently. The resin load transfer has to happen in a precise, timely manner. It has to... Um, be able to bond to the bonding agent, all that stuff, all that juicy goodness has got to be able to emulsify in a timely manner. And he's also going to pick the transfer solution based on the bonding agent, the resins, the slickness enhancers, and also the gloss enhancers that's going to give him the adequate wait time, flash time, to be able to carry all that to the paint. Does that kind of make sense? Hopefully I explained that well. I want to talk about a coating I'm getting ready to release. It's called DPC Flashback. It does all of those things just like a regular traditional ceramic coating, but it has a what we call overflash technology. I have with me here today, tonight, Landon Crawford. I'm going to let him coat this panel and coat this rear panel. And now I'm going to explain to you how this coating works. When I sat with the gentleman who helps me with all the DPC coatings, I said to him, I said, is there any way we can make a coating that I can apply the coating to the, to the entire car, coat the entire vehicle, once I'm done coating, I can begin to buff off? He said, okay, are there any other requirements you want? I said, I want it to be really slick, okay? I want it to be really glossy. He said, okay, anything else? I said I wanted to have an effortless buff off. Okay, is there anything else? I asked him for one more thing. I said, can we make it as sunlight friendly as possible? That was the part he almost wanted to fall off the chair, but he said, hold on, Scott, it's going to take some time. We've been working on this coating for a little over two years. Again, it's called DPC Flashback. Today is, I think today is November 11th. It's uh, Veterans Day. We hope to have this coating on the website tomorrow, November 12th, uh, 2022, which is a Saturday. But I want to show you what this coating can do. It has overflash technology. There is a minimum wait time that is required to buff off the coating. What's beautiful about this coating is if we're working in a perfect environment like we are now, 70 degrees, 50% humidity, it can absolutely sit on the paint for 10 minutes. It can actually sit on the paint longer, sometimes up to 30 minutes, and still have an effortless buff off. Now, let's say we're at a direct sunlight, but it's 90 degrees, it's 80% humidity. Can we still apply it to the paint and wait the 10 minute required time before buffing off? Absolutely. This coating works quite differently than most coatings on the market. Most coatings are governed by ambient temperature and humidity. This is going to rapidly accelerate flash times. This coating doesn't really give a crap what the ambient temperature and humidity is. It's more concerned with surface temperature. I want you to think about that. It's more concerned with surface temperature. It's not governed, it's not scared of high temperatures, it's not scared of humidity, and I'm going to have my buddy Landon apply it to this door and this fender, and as he's applying it, I'm going to show you what I mean by overflash technology. I'm going to show you what I mean about resin load transfer, what's happening when a coating flashes, and how this coating, to be honest with you, is going to take a lot of the pressure off. If you're a beginner and you've never coated a vehicle before, you might say to me, Scott, I heard about flash times. I heard about flashing. What does it look like? How do I identify it? Could I be buffing off too early? Could I be buffing off too late? The beauty of this coating, as long as you can get the coating on the paint, 
you want to prep the surface before, right? You want to make sure it's absolutely clean, do your polishing, do a paint prep. If you can do all of that, get the coating on the paint. The only thing I want you to worry about, the only thing that's required of you once it's on the paint, can you tell time? Can you count time? Can you wait 10 minutes? Because that's all that's required. Landon, yes, sir. apply this coating for me, okay. and I'll continue to talk as you apply it. We'll show them Got it. what Overflash technology looks like, and we'll go a little deeper into it. We'll try not to kill these people with a long video, but uh, that's never been my style, right? Right. Now, just so I'm on the same page and I'm understanding correctly, yep. I, I did my math for Marine, so just, yep. just let you know. I'm Speak sorry. up a little bit, just in case. So, 10 minutes. 10 minutes is the required wait time. 10 minutes, and then after that, so long as it's not burnt or burning to the touch, it's, it can be applied. Is that Right, let's doing? talk about when we're gonna use this coating in direct sunlight, because I made a video two weeks ago and people watched that and said, holy cow, 80 degrees, indirect sunlight, and you were working on a black car. In that video, folks, when you watched me apply that coating, I said something in that video. I said, I'm having a insane moment because the coating is actually steaming or smoking off the paint. We do not want to apply this coating when the paint is that hot in direct sunlight, okay? I just want to clarify that. In that video, I was pushing the coating to the absolute limits, and it still came off with ease, but we don't want you to do that. When you're applying this coating in direct sunlight, we need that 10 minute, that 10 minute wait time, right? So the coating can be, or the paint can be cool to the touch, it can be warm to the touch, and you're gonna be perfectly fine. The coating will still be able to stay on the paint, you'll be able to buff it off with absolute ease. If the paint is really hot to the touch like it was in that video, I still was able to buff it off, but we don't recommend that it's not a healthy environment or a surface temperature for the bonding agent or the um, resin load within the coating, like most coatings, right? But this is as close as we can get to almost absolute perfection Yes. For a coating, you can apply in direct sunlight, right? We just need that 10 minute wait time. We wanna make sure the paint is cool or warm to the touch. We've been testing this for over two years. We know when the paint's warm to the touch, it can still hold on to its 10 minute wait time and buff off with ease. Mm -hmm. But in this video here, I guess you can, you can see it from here. You can see that coating flashing, right? You see that rainbow hue all over the paint? Mm -hmm. If this was a traditional ceramic coating, Boy, that's our cue to buff off. But with this coating, it's okay. Just let it sit, let it do its thing. Let it just slowly bond. Let the bonding agent bond to the paint. As you're watching it rainbow here, that load transfer that's required of all coatings is coming into the experience. It's bonding itself to the bonding agent. This is giving you a very relaxed, uh, type of experience. Now, of course, if we look at Landon, right, he only coated two panels. He has to wait 10 minutes and he's sitting here. What, what could Landon be doing right now while he's waiting for this? He could continue to coat the car. He could do the front fender. He could do the hood. He could do the other fender. He could do the other side of the car. What I wanted was, hey, can we coat an entire car come back to where we started and just start buffing off and then follow our way around the car the way we coated the vehicle? The answer is yes. For a beginner or even a seasoned professional detailer, it's very hard to determine or be able to see flash, the flash of a coating on white paint. That's difficult, right? Yes. You gotta have like really nice lighting. You gotta be at the right angle. You don't want to buff off too soon. You don't want to buff off too late where it's tacky. And on white paint, it can be really hard to determine when that flash is happening, right? Or light colored paints. This coating's going to make your life easier on light paint. All you got to make sure is you have product all the way around the panel, all the way around the car, however you want to do it. And all you got to do is, I don't have one, but you got to have a wristwatch, a clock on the wall, or just know you've waited 10 minutes and you can buff off. What's great about this coating is you can even go beyond that. 
In some, certs, in some situations, this coating can actually sit on the paint for 20 to 30 minutes and still buff off with ease. That's awesome. Especially. Yeah, but again, I just want to uh, hammer this point home. We're actually going to let this sit here for 10 minutes. We don't want to kill people with a... It wouldn't necessarily be a long video because you could coat this entire car in probably 10 minutes, yep. maybe less, mm -hmm. and then come right back here where you started. Right. And just start buffing off and you're done. You could probably coat and buff this car off in about 20 minutes. Yeah, I can do this in an hour. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty fast. It's pretty easy. So as we're waiting the 10-minute wait time, which we're telling these people they got to wait 10 minutes. I don't know how long it's been on the paint. About five minutes now? <laughs> just after the 10-minute mark on the timer. So, so when, you, when I grabbed this camera, it was 10 minutes. Okay, so we're at the six-minute mark. We've got four more minutes, right? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, yeah, so I went to high school. We're good. My math, my, my, my basic math is pretty good. So we're going to wait about another five minutes or so or four minutes, and then we're going to pop this off. What I want Landon to explain even though we've got this coating on there for a long time, is the coating still easy to buff off? Is it effortless? Does it feel slick to the touch? And then you're gonna see the gloss start to appear when you remove the transfer solution. If this was a, tra a, a traditional coating mm -hmm. that would flash around two to three minutes in the perfect environment, and we left it on the paint this long, and we're gonna wait even longer, it's going to be a very difficult buff off. We're probably not going to get it all off. We're going to have high spots streaking. Restart. Yeah, we're going to probably have to repolish the panel and start all over again. Yeah. But this is over flash technology at its best. This coating called DPC Flashback has a proprietary bonding agent transfer solution that stays wet longer. We have proprietary um, resins. We have proprietary... Uh, gloss enhancers and slickness enhancers. The chemist has got this perfectly timed. If you know how to read a, a stopwatch, apply it to the car, wait 10 minutes, buff it off. I can guarantee you that the bonding agent has done its job. Okay. That resin load transfer was successful. Mm -hmm. The slickness enhancers and the gloss enhancers have absolutely bonded to perfection. Right. And all you got to do is just tell me you know what time it is. 10 minutes. And 10 minutes or you can wait longer in some cases you can, I've actually pushed this coating up to 45 minutes. I do not recommend that. Okay, but that's part of my testing. I have to go pretty far with it. But usually this size car, I can probably coat probably in less than 10 minutes. It's a pretty small car. I coated a Yukon Denali, four door, big size car. It took me about 15 minutes to get around it, 12, 15 minutes. Okay. And then I went over to the area I started and I just buffed off. It took me about 25 minutes to do the coating application and buff off. And it came off with ease, incredibly slick and super easy. I love it, right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, it takes the stress off a little bit. Now, obviously, Landon and I are just kind of BSing here while we watch these two panels do their thing. We're waiting that 10 minute wait time. <laughs> we certainly could have coated the rest of the car, but... I don't want to follow him around with a camera. That'd be crazy. I'm not good at this anyway. <laughs> so when did you say you... Right around... It was just right at the 10 minute mark. Just a little after. Oh, 10 minutes? Okay, so we're at 9 minutes now. Close enough. We're going to give it one more minute. Just a long time. It's okay. <laughs> that, transfer, that transfer solution is beautiful. It stays wet longer. Mm -hmm. We know if somebody said to me, Scott, I got it on the paint, I waited the minimum 10 minutes, I buffed it off, I can tell them, you hit a home run. We know that we have perfect bond with the bonding agent. Mm -hmm. We know the resin load transfer was successful. Right. We know the slickness enhancers, the gloss enhancers have all made it beautifully to the paint. And now, if you're a pro detailer, that's great too, right? Right. You can be, not just, you just got to tell your client, maintain the coating. Right. Maintain the vehicle just like any other coated car. Right. But this, uh, I love it. I don't like to use the word game changer. Lots of people talk about that in auto detailing. We try these game changing products, right? And we go, that's not so game changing. I'm not going to push game changing onto people, that term. But for me, it is game changing. Mm -hmm. 
This lets me relax. This lets me have a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. I don't have to overthink the moment. I just got to watch time. Yeah. And I got to make sure I got the coating on the paint all over the paint. Every part of the paint has been touched with this coating. Mm -hmm. And I'm good to go. A newbie calls me and says, Scott, I'm scared to death. It's okay. You just got to know how to tell time. And I'll get you through it. It'll be an easy experience. Let's pop this off the paint. Here we go. See what it is. Let's watch land and buff off this paint. You can see that transfer solution. It's flash, but again, this is over flash technology. Coming off with ease, right? Yeah, it's uh, stupid simple. Stupid simple. Now keep in mind as Landon is buffing off this coating, that transfer solution is meant to stay wet longer. He's gonna flip the towel. He's probably gonna flip it a little bit more often than with a traditional ceramic coating because again, that transfer solution is staying wet longer so we can use it in higher temperatures, higher humidity. We can even use it in direct sunlight. That's what's helping us be able to use it in direct sunlight as long as the panel is cool or warm to the touch. We will always be able to wait and meet that 10 minute, 10 minute minimum, right? Mm -hmm. Geez, you're making this too easy, dude. I'm having fun. How slick is it? It's slick. As... It's slick, right? Now what's gonna happen, I love that immediate slickness. That is beautiful. But what's gonna happen over the next 12 to 24 hours, Landon, Mm -hmm. It's going to get slicker. It's going to get slicker, dude. DPC, with all the coatings in their lineup, and the gentleman that helps me with all these coatings, mm -hmm. slickness is his game. And he is not disappointing in this coating either. either. No. I'm almost willing to say if you can apply a wax, paste wax or a paint sealant, you can absolutely apply this coating. I actually think it's easier. It is. It's easy, right? It's easy. Coming off with ease. You like the way that feels. It's nice and slick. I want to keep touching it. You keep touching it because you like the way it feels. I love the way it feels. The gloss levels are off the chart for this coating. It's great. Its slickness is great. Its ease of use is great. Its capability of being able to be used in direct sunlight. Again, folks, just make sure the panel is... Cool to the touch in direct sunlight or warm to the touch. We don't want it hot. We gotta remember we have to wait that 10 minute wait time to buff off. Landon, I want you to ask me a good question. Okay. Scott, what if you buffed it off before the 10 minute mark? What happens? Okay, this is a three year 9H coating. Got it. You waited 10 minutes, you okay. buffed it off correctly, mm -hmm. you've got success. Okay. But let's say you put it on the paint, you waited five minutes, you didn't follow my instructions, you buffed it off. Right. You're going to have an 18 to 20, 24 month coating. Awesome. Yep, you're still gonna get bond, you're still gonna get hydrophobic paint, but you're not gonna get maximum benefit from the coating. So we want you to wait that 10 minutes. Right. But worst case scenario, if you buffed it off at five or six minutes, you're gonna decrease its durability, you're gonna you know, you're still going to have slick paint and stuff like that. But I figured somebody's going to ask. Right, right. Might as well. What happens if I buff it off too early? That's it. Okay. You're going to lose a little bit of durability. But just count to 10. Just but count to 10. How easy is it? That's it? Not 10 seconds, 10 yeah, minutes. 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. A very slick surface. Very glossy surface. Very forgiving, effortless buff off. Gonna... Right? <laughs> We didn't necessarily have to wait 10 minutes and just stare at these two panels. We could have continued to coat the car. That would have been fine. We would have had plenty of time. Mm -hmm. And it's very hydrophobic. It's rated up to three years. It's a great uh, entry level coating for pros, for car enthusiasts, all that good stuff. I would want any newcomer, any new guy. Any new guy. Any, if you're scared. Yes. Ceramic coatings. Yes. I'm not naming any names. I'm just gonna say this, if you're scared, DPC flashback is what they need to go to. Yeah, it's, it's a great coating. Yes. And imagine if they're a beginner, yes. they've never applied a ceramic coating, uh -huh. they don't know how to identify flash, right. they don't know when to buff off right. when flash happens, right. and they own a white car. Right. You wanna talk about all sorts of whammies, all sorts of difficulties for a beginner. Yep. Now all I gotta tell them, 
I'll keep it simple. Work out of direct sunlight. Do it in the shade. I don't care about the temperature, mm -hmm. the humidity or the ambient temperature, right? Right, right, right? I just want you to get it on the paint, and I want you to wait 10 minutes and buff it off. Yes. If they do that, I give them one thumbs up, two thumbs up, and say you're absolutely golden. You're ready to go. You've now coated a car just like a pro. I love it. <laughs> love you guys. Hopefully that helps you out. This coating will be on my website, which is dpcdetailing.com. I'm a little late to the show. I should have had it up tonight, but it will be tomorrow on November 12th, which is Saturday, 2022. Bear with me. Working really hard behind the scenes. Landon. Yes, sir. I love you, dude. Love you, sir. Talk to you soon. <laughs>